Hey guys, welcome to Tuesday Connections. Today is Tuesday, November the 9th. May the grace and peace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you today. Amen. Uh, Sunday was a great day. I hope that you had a chance to be with us uh, this past Sunday. And listen, we're, we're looking to bring uh, folks together once again. Uh, it's getting back into the routine of, of coming to gather with God's people is a thing. Uh, I know this because I've, I've been started back at, uh, at a gym that I was going to prior to COVID. And uh, I got to tell you, once I, once I started back, I, I didn't want to start back because of various reasons. One, because I know how hard it is. But uh, when I started back, I, I was halfway through the workouts, an hour-long class, and I, and I realized how much I loved being there and how, how beneficial this was to my physical body. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about that today, uh, sowing to the Spirit. But first, let me give a couple of uh, uh, announcements. One, uh, Wednesday night dinner this week is bring your own dinner. So stop by, grab some Chick-fil-A, uh, which is God's chicken. I'm just kidding. It's not I mean, yes, get some Chick-fil-A if you want it. Uh, Bojangles is good too, whatever you want to do. I'm not trying to, anyway, you hear what I'm saying. Grab some food, sushi, whatever you like. Bring it in. Let's eat. Fellowship together. Class will start at 6.30. Children's Choir begins at 5. If you have kids and you want to bring them out to, uh, to Children's Choir at 5 o'clock, the, the, the choir is growing. I think they're up beyond 10 now. And so, uh, so come on out. Bring your children. It's going to, be, going to be great. They're preparing for the uh, Christmas season. So that's this coming Wednesday. Uh, next, uh, next Sunday on November the 21st, right after the service, we are decorating for Christmas, believe it or not, uh, on the 21st after the service because... November the 28th is uh, the first Sunday in Advent. And so many hands make light work. We could use your help. Uh, you may need to put this on your calendar so that you can, uh, you can be here. I think they're going to get pizza. It's going to be a great day, but it will move along much faster with you participating. And so come out on the 21st and participate in decorating. Breakfast with Santa is coming up. That's a preschool event that the church is always invited to, to be a part of. Uh, that's coming up on December the 4th. Tickets are, uh, or actually places are limited, but you can sign up on the link that's on this email. There are two times that you are able to come, 9 o'clock and 11 o'clock, and you can fill out the form that's on the email to sign up. And we would love to, love to see you there at Breakfast with Santa on December the 4th. Also in December, at the beginning of December, coming up uh, Wednesday nights, on December the 1st, we're having our annual tree lighting outside. We're going to have dinner at 5.30 from Frankie's, and uh, just like a regular Wednesday night, except for after dinner, we won't have classes. We'll all gather together in the front of the church. We'll sing some Christmas carols, and we'll light up the campus. And so we're looking forward to that night. On December the 8th, you definitely want this on your calendar, Wednesday, December the 8th, another Wednesday night dinner. We're going to have uh, Williamson Brothers Barbecue and Richard Blackaby, the Richard Blackaby who wrote our Experiencing God workbook. He was written, co-authored several books with his father, Henry Blackaby. Uh, is going to be here on campus. Is going to do a workshop with us uh, after dinner. And so make sure that you RSVP for those events. And we'll look forward to being together also on December the 8th that night. Kelly's hosting a, a gingerbread bash with the children. And so there's things for all ages on those nights. I hope that you're uh, looking ahead to what's going on in December. Now, so uh, on the first day back at this new gym, actually it was the second class back, I met with one of the coaches and she was talking about uh, our, our workouts and our exercising versus what we eat. And she said, you know, abs are made in the kitchen. And then she said, uh, you can't outrun your butter. <laughs> I thought, well, that's, a, that's really what I need to write on my mirror. You can't outrun. It doesn't matter how much I work out, uh, you know, if I'm, if I'm just eating anything I want. I'm not going to get the results that I want with, uh, with, with you know, where, where I'm headed. And so it was a good thought, and it got me thinking about, you know, what, where do we pour into our, ourselves? What do we sow to? The Bible talks about in Galatians, Paul wrote to the Galatians, he said uh, in chapter, uh, chapter 6, he said, Whoever sows to please the flesh, from the flesh will reap destruction. I'm not going to go into all the things that we do to, to, to sow into the flesh, but you know where that's going. But then he says, whoever sows to please the Spirit, from the Spirit will reap eternal life. The question is, what are we doing to sow into the Spirit? What are we sowing 
uh, into our spirits? Are we listening to, to good, God-glorifying music? Are we reading the scripture? Are we reading books that, that, that point our hearts and minds toward the Lord? Are we listening to, to podcasts or to, to preaching that really turns our, again, turns our ears, turns our minds uh, to that which is good and right and holy and just and worthy of, of praise? Uh, this morning I was meditating on uh, Isaiah 55 again. The Lord just keeps bringing you back to this particular chapter, such a rich chapter. And Isaiah says, The rain and the snow come down from heaven. They stay on the ground to water the earth. They cause the grain to grow, the, the rain and the snow, producing seed for the farmer, bread for the hungry. It is the same with my word. I send it out and it always produces fruit. It's, it's sown, in other words. Uh, it will accomplish all I want it to, and it will prosper everywhere I send it. So the Lord is sending out his word in these different places. Are we sowing the word into our spirits? And so I encourage you this week to consider what, how are you feeding your mind? How are you feeding your spirit? How are you feeding your body? And encourage you to sow good things and sow to the spirit. God bless you, dear friends, and uh, we'll see you soon.